Do you ever have a flight and you get something inside your rocket that's stuck between the engine mount and an ejection baffle and you can't get it out? I'm going to show you how to get it out in one simple little trick. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Um, today I'm going to show you a little trick on how to get something that's stuck inside your rocket out. Um, on this particular rocket, um, as you can see, I've made it a clear section so you can see what's going on inside. Um, I got my engine mount back here, the motor tube, and then up here in the front, um, I have an ejection baffle. And usually this baffle is glued into place because you don't want it moving on you. Uh, but the problem is um, on the composite motors, um, Aerotech puts in this little plastic cap that holds the ejection charge in. Well, sometimes it's black, and on this one here it's red. And when the ejection charge fires, it pushes this cap out and it goes inside your rocket. And so after the flight, you can see there's that ejection cap that just kind of rattles around. And on this particular rocket, um, I've got a long motor mount tube and I can't pour it out that way. Oh, <laughs> and by some sheer luck, I got it to drop right out. But normally they don't. Normally they just rattle around inside the bottom there like that. And then you're, you're doing this all day Kind of like one of those little carnival games that you get at the penny arcades. You know, try to get the little ball in the cup. And you spend doing that all day trying to get it out and it doesn't want to come out. Um, so here's the simple little trick. It involves a wooden dowel that's long enough to reach all the way into the ejection jar or all the way to the ejection baffle. Um, and then some tape. And you know where this is going. You just take a piece of tape. I'm going to take two pieces of tape here. Um, one, I'm going to just double fold it. And the other one is I'm going to stick it over my, my dowel like that. I just want to tape it on, make sure that it stays in place because I don't want to try to be fishing the tape out either. And so, and then it's a simple matter of you just take the doll and you just drop it into the tube and you fish around until you have it and you can just pull it out like that. Very simple trick. Um, so what do you, can you do to prevent this in the first place? One is, as you can see on this motor mount, the, the motor tube sticks past the centering ring. And this centering ring, uh, because it has through the wall fins, typically we like to keep that centering ring up close against the tab so there's extra glue bonding area right there. Uh, so that makes your fins stronger. So um, the, the best thing to do is just to cut your tube before you assemble it um, so that that front centering ring is at the front end of the tube. So now that's going to make a shorter engine mount, but that's okay. Uh, but the, the advantage is when that ejection cap, you know, goes inside, now that tube is flush with the centering ring, and then it's just a matter of just kind of rolling it around, and then it will fall out. Um, so then if you have a longer motor, that longer motor is going to stick up and protrude past the end of the motor mount tube, which is totally fine. Um, it can it can protrude out, you know, you know, all the way up to here if you want it to. Um, and there are some rockets with really long motor tubes that will stick up pretty far inside. Um, again, you won't use the engine block because the engine block for the rocket engine is built in to the motor. And that's what stops it from going all the way in. So you can have a motor that's really long um, as long as you don't put an engine block into your 
um, engine mount. So that's my simple little trick of getting that little plastic cap outside out of your engine tube. My name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rock Tree Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.